Hey Atlas readers! Now the book we're going to read today is this one right here. Dig Plant Feast by Lynn Picot. So let's get right into it. Oh, but first, make sure you stay tuned to the end so you can learn the three facts of the day. Let's plant our friendship garden today, said Miss Green. We'll need the hand shovels put into our wheelbarrows. Don't forget your seeds, reminded Miss Green as they lined up to go outside. On the playground, the students discovered a square of dirt. Miss Green asked each student to dig a small hole and bury a few seeds inside. Now we will water your seeds and let the sun work its magic, said Miss Green. Using a hose, she made sure the dirt was wet before everyone went back inside. Weeks later, sprouts came up, then flowers opened. Look, Carson shouted, my bean seeds are growing beanstalks. Will we be able to climb the beanstalks? Cassie asked. Everyone wondered how tall the beanstalks would grow. Miss Green gave Carson a yardstick so he could measure how much his beanstalks grew every day. When the flowers turned into long green beans, everyone helped Carson pick them. The students all agreed to put their vegetables together to make a friendship stew in a big pot. After washing and cutting up carrots, tomatoes, potatoes, and Carson's beans, they cooked the stew with water, salt, and pepper. The good smells drifted into Mrs. Rowe's classroom, so Miss Green invited them to share their feast. Miss Green remarked, friends share their seeds, and then make new friends by sharing their stew. All right, Ellis readers, that's the end of the story. Now let's get straight into the facts. Fact of the day number one. A very common tool that gardeners use is called a hoe. It is used to remove weeds, clear soil, and get the soil ready for planting. But hoes are also used by archeologists. They use them to clear the ground before they start searching for fossils and bones and other really cool things. This is an example of how one tool can be used in different kinds of jobs. Number two, plants are measured almost in the same way that you are. Sometimes when we go to the doctor, the doctor may have a really long measuring stick to keep track of how much you're growing. In the same way, gardeners use a measuring stick to see how fast their plants are growing and getting bigger. Mrs. Green used a hose to water the plant, but there's lots of other tools used by gardeners to make sure that their plants are getting watered. All right, Alice readers, before we go, don't forget, share the knowledge, pick your favorite of these three facts that we just read about and share it with someone you know. Bye, see you next time.